on urban climates. Now, um, firstly, these are basically the four things that you've got there, the reasons for difference, causes of heat islands, pollution domes, effects of heat islands. These are basically the things that deal with, with uh, uh, urban climates. Now, what the basis of your urban climates, people, has to do with the following. The urban heat island effect. Now, what's the difference? Have a look at this. These are the urban areas and these are the suburban areas. Here we've got um, about 42 degrees. And here we've got it about around about 30, 38, 39 degrees. So immediately you see that here we've got, it's much cooler here than there. Very important. And you must know the reasons why it's cooler there. Artificial surfaces, higher buildings, industries, many cars that you find there. All of these things cause higher temperatures. What you also must know is that this would be the, the heat island, right? What is a heat island? It's an area of high temperature surrounded by cooler, the rural area that's much cooler. In other words, your warmer city and your, cool, your cooler rural areas. Look here, you've got 36, 34, 32, 33. You see, the further you move from the city, the cooler it gets. Okay, then you must also know your pollution dome. Your pollution dome is a mass of polluted air trapped by the inversion layer and prevented to rise. These are two concepts that you must know. Now, you have seen that here, they've asked a question, why is it warmer in the city than in the rural areas? Artificial surfaces, high buildings, industries, many cars, and so forth. Now, this is the question that has been asked last year. The exact diagram, I just added a little of color to it. Have a look at this. This is the CBD, 33,3 degrees Celsius, suburban 31, 29. The further you move, the colder it becomes. Okay, first one was quite easy. Calculate the difference between the temperature in the CBD and the rural area. All you had to do was to subtract that from that, and that would be 3,9 uh, degrees Celsius. Now, the second question. Give the term that describes this different in air, uh, temperature. That, of course, would be your heat island. Okay, but now I want you to look at this question. Discuss how building density contributes to the CBD having higher temperatures. How building density contributes to the CNA, CNA, CBD having higher temperatures. Please, you couldn't write anything about your industries or the tar roads or all this. And the question only dealt with... Um, with uh, 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 buildings. Now, have a look at this. Here's the answer. Remember, it only has to do with buildings. The building density, the heat is trapped by the buildings, right? The heat is reflected between the buildings. And because the buildings are so close to each other, you've got a limited uh, 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 airflow to disperse the heat. So, so you see, the heat is trapped. The heat cannot be escaped and is being absorbed, uh, absorbed by buildings. People look at this question. Many... Uh, uh, um, um, Matrix made a, a huge mistake by describing why the, the cities are warmer. This was not the question. The question only dealt here with building density. Please read your questions. Right, the last thing that I, I want to show you is that um, draw a label diagram showing the structure of the heat uh, 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 island uh, during the day. Now, this is what it looked like. People, and this is very, very important. Here's the heat island. Remember, what is the heat island? Warm city, cooler uh, rural areas. This is what it looked like. This is what the heat island looks like. You must know that during the day, it's much higher. Two marks. And the air movement up, and then it goes to the left on that side and to the right. You must indicate the correct arrows. So that is what this would look like. And then, lastly, Finally, give two sustainable solutions to reduce the temperature in city. Very high temperatures, there you can see it. Plant trees, roof gardens, commercial decentralization, industri industrial uh, decentralization, toll terminals, public transport, eco-friendly buildings. You can add still a few more solutions how to, to solve this problem.